first public appearance for Amber Heard after moving to Spain in the Johnny Depp trial, Amber Heard is prepared to walk the red carpet once more. The Aquaman actress is apparently planning to attend the 69th Teormina Cinematic Festival in Sicily, Italy on June 24, just weeks after announcing her cinematic comeback. Heard will attend the In the Fire premiere, according to Deadline, making this her first public appearance since her ex-husband Johnny Depp won the defamation lawsuit he filed against her. Connor Alline, the film's director, and Eduardo Noriego, Heard's co-star, are rumored to be walking the red carpet alongside Heard, who moved to Spain after the highly publicized trial. According to Deadline, the actress portrays a pioneering psychiatrist tasked with treating a disturbed child in the 1899 setting of the spooky thriller. Despite leaving the U.S., the 37-year-old said in a video released on TikTok last month that she had no intention of giving up her career. She told a local reporter in Spanish, I love Spain so much, and said that she intended to stay there for some time. Heard and her daughter, Unag, have been seen out and about a lot since the major relocation. Depp recently returned to the Cannes Film Festival, where he received a standing ovation for seven minutes for his performance of King Louis XV in the biographical drama Jean Dubarry. His brown, rotting teeth did not impress many of his admirers, despite the praise he received from critics for his performance. Page Six was informed at the time by celebrity dentist Dr. Apa that Depp's love of coffee and cigars is to blame for the stainy chompers, which most likely haven't been cleaned in years. Apa explains, he has wear, which has had a cumulative effect over a lifetime. Wear like that, the man said, sometimes we see it in 30-year-olds in really aggressive cases, and sometimes we see it in cases like Depp. However, given that he doesn't feel much further need for Hollywood, it doesn't appear as though the Pirates of the Caribbean star is in a rush to get them corrected.